Oh, he literally wants to. Plan executed. Look at him, he's trying to jump out. Found a float. This is a really good float. I'm gonna keep that. It's got a big rope on it though. What the heck? A long line. That's probably what it is. Old next thing. Is that a hook? Shackle. Oh, nice. Dude, this is like a float line. You could use this as a float line. Yeah, as it is. Good it's got a good big shackle. Yeah, good too. We're going to keep that. You can use that as like an anchor anchor buoy if we start diving wrecks. Well, that was pretty cool. Got a little money back. Got a free, got, get, got a free float. Five bucks. My new buddy. Look at our buddies. We got birds crawling all over the boat. Hey Fisher! There's giant yellow jacks right here. I'm gonna shoot one. All right, here we go. Diving right into this one. This is part two from last video's trip. This was the rest of the day after I lost my spear gun. For new here, my name is Braden Sharon. And this is the rest of the diving. Decided to make a move. Found that old, what we think is a Mexican long line. And here at this rig, we noticed it's a quite a bit murkier than the first spot, as you can see. Right around 40, 50 feet, there was just a cloud. They're coming up. And there, I'm eyeing a school of big yellow jacks. There's a few particular ones I wanted. That right there was the school of smaller ones. Those aren't the big ones. There's like two giants. We'll just swim around and if they come back, they come back. There were some standouts that were hanging away from the main school that I decided I was going to go after if the shot presented itself. Initially, I wasn't planning on shooting any today. We were just going to look for trophies, trophy fish, but... After losing my double roller and with it being later and not really seeing a whole lot at this rig, with it being murky, I figured I'd take one if I could. If they'd swing back around, I'm not super high strung on it. Just going to keep looking around. Peeking outside the rig here for a possible African pompano, but it's just, it's murky. And what's really wild is we're still in the same depth range as the last rig, and the murk comes up so high. You can see down beneath, it is a cloud. But yeah, not seeing a whole lot. We make a handful of dives. 
You just can't see with that Merc. Big Creole fish. <laughs> and then here, I spot a cobia swimming right up to Fisher. He sees it as well, but he's not sure if this thing is legal. So he's just looking at it here. I tell him that's legal and shoot it and he lets it rip. Then there, it comes off. Fisher sees a fish swim away. I didn't see it initially. He points it out. And here I go off to the races trying to chase this thing down. And we were able to connect, fortunately. And get this fish back. Fisher drops down here to grab that line and get some tension on the fish. But I realize he still has all his gun line out, and this fish is fighting, so I don't want him to get all wrapped up. Hey, Fisher. Hey, hey. I'll get this. Just watch your line, because I want you to get tangled. Throw your gun in the boat. Dude, yours tore out quick, huh? No, dude, the line popped at the, at the shaft. That's broke. happened to me on Oahu. It broke. And here I start working this thing up, feeding that line back behind me to stay clear. Hand it over to Fisher here. And since this fish is still green, still fighting real hard, we decided to put another shot in it. Yeah, Do you not think he's big enough? Like, yeah. I, I, You're I just looking at him. I know, I, I can tell. I was like, yeah, he's big enough. He's big enough. Did you see how fast I swam at that fish? Yeah, I was like, damn, Braden. I was hoping you, I'm like, I hope he gets it. It's... I'm glad you knew where he went. Yeah. And I saw, Cause he was, he was hurt. You could tell he's swimming. Yeah, you weren't paying attention. He was going off real slow and then he started kind of picking up. Dude, I just <laughs> chased him down. Nice. Today at least. Yeah, I got a good way. The legal way. I couldn't tell, I was like, he's on the smaller side. Yeah. No, I had a size reference. I was looking at you and the fish, yeah. and I was like, yeah. that's yeah, legal, I, I bro. Big I <laughs> this is crazy seeing this many out here in the past couple days. Is he still there? Oh, I think I just got a glimpse of him. I think he sees it. Please get it. Yes! He got it. Yeah, hey, buddy. Shark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just relax. Don't thrash. Don't thrash. Don't thrash. Just be smooth. <laughs> Hold the gun. Or just jump in. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, he came up to check out that cobra. <laughs> he came up to check out this yellowtail freaking out. Yellow jet. Yeah, yeah, yeah yellow jet. Is that one of the, that's the giant? Or one yeah, of the giants? 
Oh, baby! <laughs> yes! Sir. Stoned him, too. Hit him right in the spine. The spine shot. Pick him up here. There you go. Dude, today's a weird day, but you can't complain about that. Look at the color yeah. shift here. Look at that thing. Change color once a shot. That shark is hanging big around. Big spinner. Yeah, big spinner. Like yeah. A yeah, he's a big one. Full grown spinner. Oh, there he is, there he is. There's two. Him. There's two. Him. Three. There's three. There's four. Another one right behind the boat. What the hell? Dang. They love this murky water. Oh, and that's a jack. Oh, Fisher, Fisher. Oh, that is ginormous. Oh, he literally wants to nibble your fin. Where's he at? He's right here. Still there? Yeah, he's right here. He's right here. That's a giant, dude. That's a 60 plus pounder. Giant cobia. Giant cobia. 60 plus pounds. Fish are jumping in, might have spooked him though. He kind of flicked away. It swam out here when you jumped in. The shark under the boat, watch the shark. They what? Right the, the ling? That's the shark. shark. There's a ling and a shark. one these things only show up when we're oh. back in the boat yeah. with both guns unloaded or shot mm -hmm. it's like they know they wait for us to get back in the boat stud yellow jack what's up homie Today's a weird day. It's gone from spear fishing to bird rescue. Number two in the boat. Ow, he's biting me. I don't know how all these birds get caught in the water, their wings get wet, and they can't fly away, and they just exhaust themselves and die. All right, so after all that chaos, we decided to go back to the cleaner water and dive around here. I'm scoping everything out. I don't see a whole lot. I tell Fisher, let's just look for those African pompano. It's later in the day now. This is when I have seen them the most. So we just start doing dives like this, posting up and looking out make a good handful of these but all I see are these Jack Crevel big swarms of them and then here at another rig this is one of my early dives going down to check everything out. And down on that deeper crossbeam area, there's a pretty nice Kubera just sitting above the beam. Not a mega, but really cool to see. And I swim over here to try to hold myself from sinking deeper on it. To just check it out. But that alone causes it to spook off but no worries was not trying to make a move on that one it's right here it's right there it's right there Slide in the water, slide in, 
Slide it real slow, real slow, real slow. Don't worry about the camera, I got it. Big wing right here. Stone shot, baby. Execute. Come here, son. come here, come here. Execute. Give me some knucks. <laughs> All right, bring him in, bring him in before he wakes up. Are you kidding me? What the hell? Come here, come here, come here. He shot good. Okay, Take well, let's get him in because I don't know if the slip tip deployed. He's going to wake up. He's going to wake up. The slip tip didn't deploy yet. Grab the metal tech. Yeah. Grab the metal tech. Uh oh, we might jump in the boat. He just hit the boat. Look at that guy. That's a tank. He's going to scratch my boat on. Hopefully that slip tip deployed. Slip tip deploy. Got him. Okay. Plan executed. Look at him, he's trying to jump out. Watch yourself, watch yourself. Come get in the boat, come get in the boat. It's all right. It's all right. Okay. <laughs> I literally just turned around and behind the boat. <laughs> There's this giant ling. And real quietly, I was like, Fisher, Fisher. Here's the gun, here's the gun, here's the gun. Slide in the water quietly. Shoot this thing. <laughs> and I just it. Well, I didn't want to spook it, so I was like, all right, Fisher, come no, shoot no, it. No, no, you're good, you're good. That, that worked out. The last one that we saw, he kind of jumped in quick, and it was loud, and I think it spooked it. So, just worked out. He's got a tank, because now he's bleeding it. Alright, right, dispatch it. Yeah, you put it in the heart there, didn't you? I always go for the heart, bro. Heart's like the easiest to get hit. We finally had a spear gun ready. Well, we got our boat limit. We did indeed. Dude, that's a... Dude, that's over 50 easy. That might be a 60. <laughs> that's a big one. That's 60, bro. Damn. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to unclip this one and you can pull that spear through again as well, okay? <laughs> that way we can just go straight in and do the underwater pictures. You get my gloves. Like a shark hit it or something and, and didn't latch on. Well, I got sunscreen all over my face still, probably. Got a text from my brother. 
because Fisher just had to <laughs> chat it up already. He said, had a dream last night I lost your spear gun to a dog snapper. Or I guess he meant, had a dream last night you lost your spear gun to a dog snapper. Glad it wasn't real. <laughs> Putting salt on the wound. What a coincidence. Uh, I don't know. Huh. It's crazy how that worked out. All right, y'all, we are back. Had an awesome day. Unfortunately, it was an expensive trip, but we got some nice phobia. That's sort of what we're gonna be cooking up here. We're actually at my grandparents right now. Here's the cobia, and then we also actually have a red snapper throat that we are gonna cook on the Traeger here. Should be at 350, it's a little under right now, but. Here we go. I just. Did olive oil on the fish and then seasoning. I'm not going to say what exactly. We are working on something. Uh, if it's out by the time this video comes out, I'll have it linked in the description or I'll add another thing at the end of the video. But uh, yeah, can't go wrong with cobia. No matter how you cook it, whatever seasoning, it'll be good. But here we go. So I'm going to lay it on their sides. It's probably going to take a lot longer to cook. We're going to eyeball that. The fish shouldn't take longer than 20-30 minutes, but I will keep y'all posted on it. And then here I just got some chunks, some treats for the dogs. Now we wait. Should be good. Alright, I think it's been about 35 minutes. My phone died with my timer on, but the fish looks done. Look at that. Looks delicious. How is the uh, throat looking? The throat looks done too. Uh oh. Check it out. I'm gonna get these dog straps off first, and then we'll do a taste test real quick. Supposed to smell like that. You're such a liar. All right, it's gonna be hot. Real quick, gonna do a quick taste test. I didn't even look at the inside. Meat is fully cooked. That's cobia, no doubt. Mmm. Fire. Take a little cut of the red snapper also. Did a real simple, you could go way fancier with this, but I just used what we had and made it quick and easy. Super good too. Hard to beat that. Red snapper throat, super tender, and then Kobe steak, can't go wrong with it. I mean, look at it. Now we're going to eat. Hope you guys enjoy the video. If you ever get red snapper, cobia, can't go wrong cooking it. Dinner is ready. Sage's first ever bite of cobia. 